the blank to yeah. my question mm -hmm. um, for Ms. Jonah. Um, so you're in a very male-dominated um, industry. And yeah. How important is it for a woman such as yourself to be like heard or like to have their craft like seen in front of millions of people? Okay. Before I answer that, can I add to what Ms. Jonah said? Sure. So it is the it seems like it's the fastest growing. Um, college at her. But actually, I was asking Ms. Jonah the other day, she's been around for 10 years. So she hasn't, she's not new to the game. Like she's been doing this for a while. So I feel like now it's finally paying off and people are finally acknowledging what she's doing. But there was 10 <coughs> years of hard work leading up to this moment. So that's what people fail to recognize or fail to see in all of her journeys. And I think this is related to what I'm gonna answer to you also. Um, I think people see them what's already on screen or they see um, the work when it's finished, but they don't see the hours you spent researching, the hours you spent filming, writing, doing pre-production meetings, everything that leads up to the moment. I think that's what makes the whole journey sweeter. And you're right, it is, where I'm working, it is a very male-dominated industry. And there are so many days I feel discouraged, like I feel like you're given a seat at the table, but they're not actually listening. So I let my work speak for itself. So I deliver results, I think, and that takes time. So you know, I think um, I think if I could give a tip to whoever's listening out there, you know, really just make sure you're doing the work right and let your work speak for itself. Wow. Very meaningful and inspiring answer to Ms. Bella and Ms. Jonah. Last question Paul, from our crowd before we proceed to our next segment. Yes, ma'am. is the most perfect and the most personal because um, Bella is like um, directing, she's writing, she's also acting, she's doing, she's doing everything at the same time and that's also what Beauty Milk stands for like um, it's, it's a drink but it's doing everything, it's doing so much task for your body so I think um, because Bella also value um, and um, um, Bella is also an advocate of um, being healthy I think she's she's the most perfect talaga um face for their face. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Now can we hear from Bella? How did you feel when your face got to you to endorse? Okay. Hi Miss Leia. Hello. Um, like I said earlier, I was super kilig. Um I don't know because I'm feeling ko, um parang I feel like um because Julia was the last endorser yeah. introduced, I was thinking maybe you know it's the, these brands um that are parang super big right now. I feel like they're more interested in the younger generation or the TikTok, the Gen Z generation. So I'm very flattered that I was tapped for this. I mean, I'm not old, but I'm also not as young as Julia. So um, I was very pleasantly surprised when my handler told me that I'm working with your face. Because you know, I've been seeing your billboards on Etsa for the longest time. So yeah, I was very excited. All right, thank you. Thank you. Can I just add one more? Yes, sure. You mentioned that you're doing a film with JC. Yes. So there is, this is your screen reading, yeah? Yeah. It is. Are you directing it? Are you writing it? No, actress po ako dito. Yes. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Thank you, Ms. Thank you so much, Ms. Leia. Thank you. Nice to see you. A round of applause for our guest from the 